All right, folks, that's from Hot on Android.com, where we get <coughs> on Android every day. Uh, anyway, ooh, it's 420. Happy 420. Anyway, uh, we've got uh, Dirty Unicorns ROM uh, running on my Note 3 and the Note 2. It is also available for many other phones, uh, but they're nearly identical uh, pretty much for all of them. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Note 2. And I find that uh, specifically for the Note 2, it is very, very solid. Uh, if you want the best Android 5.1.1 ROM, actually this is the only ROM that I, I could find that runs uh, uh, Netflix out of the box. So that's one good thing about this one. Um, so I really like it. And everything else should be working out of the box. Very nice ROM. Uh, super fast, super stable. All right, same thing with the uh, Note 3 version. And also the camera uh, works flawless All right, for both. And also you get full resolution. For the Note 2, you'll get obviously 1080p and 720p for a front camera. Uh, for the Note 3 version, you'll get full 4K, which is nice. Um, so you will not lose your resolution. Also, you can go ahead and download Google Camera if you want. Uh, there we go, 4K, 1080p for front. So everything working out of the box, very nice ROM. As far as uh, number of customization, it's not as much as some of the other AOSP ROMs, but you get plenty. Also for root, you have Super SU built in. All right, uh, themes, you can get CM12 themes. They're 12.1 themes. And uh, miscellaneous tweaks. Uh, LCD density, you can go ahead and change. Lock screen shortcuts, app shortcuts. Also, you can go ahead and customize your status bar. Just the basic stuff. I have it I like in the center there. And quick settings, you can go ahead and customize your tiles. You can go ahead and add a bunch of tiles, hotspot, all that good stuff. Of course, all OSP ROMs have hotspot working out of the box. Now for the Note 2, this ROM is available for the Verizon version, which I'm using here. Also, there's an AT&T version, which, can you, which you can also use on AT&T, T-Mobile, Canadian, uh, and the GTN 7105. They're all compatible, uh, but you cannot install it if you have SafeStrap. Only people who have rooted your phone and installed Clockma Recovery or Tour Recovery, um, then you can go ahead and install these ROMs for AT&T and Verizon users. Navigation bar, if you want soft buttons, it's there. Now, with this one, you don't actually get the uh, disable of the hardware buttons like CM12.1. That's the only thing missing, I would say, from this ROM, which I wish uh, will be added in the future. Also, there's Omni Switch Gesture Anywhere, App Circle Bar. This is one of my favorites. You can go ahead and adjust this trigger and go ahead and access all of your favorite apps easily there. And those, that's very nice. Heads up notifications with Lollipop, you'll get all of your notification which covers the top uh, of your screen. Now, if there's any apps you don't want to get notifications, you can go ahead and add it to Do Not Disturb and Blacklist. Um, this is sort of nice. Most AOSP ROMs have this. Stock Lollipop doesn't, like Nexus devices, uh, which kind of sucks because you can't disable your notifications. All right, and also Power Menu, you can go ahead and add screen recording, screenshots, settings, more stuff, which is really nice. For recents, you can also change the recents location if you want, and some more miscellaneous download center, so you can go ahead and upgrade it straight from the get-go there. Other than that, it's a very, very nice ROM. Again, it is available for many other variants. Uh, the Note 2 and the Note 3 are very, very solid, the ones I've tested. I'm not sure about the other variants, but this team is pretty good, dirty. Uh, Unicorns is really good, actually, a lot of ROM. Um, developers like to copy because it's very solid and stable. So definitely check it out for your Note 2 if you want a solid and stable and fast with great battery life. Um, Dirty Unicorns is the way to go as of uh, as for, as of this week, at least. Anyway, check it out and do let me know what you think. Uh, as always, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and as always, I'll stay on Android.